There are inexpensive options for students to travel, believe it or not. In fact, there are low-cost options for everyone. You can save money while traveling like it's nobody's business with a little flexibility and know-how. How effective is the shrinking strategy? Or how about the advice on how to save money on travel accommodations? Stay tuned to learn about the most cost-effective ways to travel and vacation abroad. Save every penny possible. When I'm saving for a trip, I do drastically alter my regular spending patterns, knowing that even $5 makes a big difference in another country. I skimp and save as much as I can at home in the months leading up to the trip. Is it truly necessary for you to eat out tonight? Is it necessary to get new shoes? If that's the case, where can you get the cheapest pair? It's all about making small sacrifices now that will pay off later while you're on the road. Demonstrate your commitment to being able to afford that long-term travel. Reduce your extra and you'll realize that you're saving money in no time. Try couch surfing. Want to spend your vacation surfing the Brazilian coast but can't afford a hotel room with a view of the ocean? Take up couch surfing, a different type of surfing. Tourists looking for an inexpensive place to stay are welcomed by locals. They can also inform you about the city's lesser known gems such as small hole in the wall restaurants and the best beaches for an early morning surf. You'll have access to a variety of information that you won't find in a hotel and save a ton of money on lodging. Get a part-time job while you're away. Maybe affordable travel isn't for you and you'd rather live as they do in movies. Spend the summer in Sydney soaking up the rays or spend the holidays in Barcelona napping. Whatever your preference, part-time work is an excellent option to supplement your income without sacrificing comfort or must-do activities. If you have a work visa and are willing to stay in one place for a while, talk to a local temping agency about getting a short term job. You'll learn money while gaining valuable experience for your resume. Cook your own meals. If you're planning to travel for an extended period of time, you'll almost certainly need to cook. Sure, you can eat out every meal, which is perfectly accessible in some parts of Asia, but be prepared to cook as well. Cooking your own meals is generally less expensive than eating out in most nations, so make sure to book a place with a kitchen. Hostels and Airbnbs frequently have kitchens. It's worth noting that many hotels do not provide kitchen, so keep that in mind. You consider how much money you can save by cooking and eating your own food instead of ordering takeout or eating out every meal. Set a savings goal and keep it. The greatest method to save is to know how much you're going to save. Setting a reasonable objective might be difficult. You should have an idea of how long you intend to go and where you intend to go. Your spending plan should be based on your travel destination. Even if you're not sure how to make a savings goal, do it anyway. Set a target for yourself such as $10,000 or $20,000 and tell yourself that after you reach that amount, you'll go on a trip, purchase a ticket, and intend to go for as long as your funds allow. Once your funds run out, book a return flight. Go for an all-inclusive package. Grandparents on cruises through the Florida Keys aren't the only ones who like all-inclusive vacations. These programs, which range from bus trips around Asia to island hopping excursions in the Mediterranean, can help you save money while traveling regardless of your age. Choosing less known destinations during the off-season is your best bet for saving money. Even if you choose the more expensive option, food, lodging, transportation, and activities are frequently discounted, if not entirely covered, by these packages. Travel by public transport. Taxis and Uber are two of the fastest ways to spend money quickly. They aren't excessively pricey in certain countries, but they are in the majority. If possible, learn about and use the public transportation system in each place you visit. Move It is another excellent travel software that assists you in navigating public transportation networks all over the world. Also, consider using public transportation to get from one location to the next. Chicken buses are a lively and thrilling local mode of transportation in regions like Central America. Consider taking an overnight sleeper bus in Vietnam. Locals in each country have their own way of getting around, and flying is usually not one of them. Set a daily budget. You must limit your everyday expenditure if you want to be able to tour the world on a budget. Begin tracking your daily spending patterns and establishing a daily spending goal. This is when the software
where travel spend comes in handy. Despite the fact that it was designed for travel, I use it at home as well. It calculates your daily spending and categorizes each purchase. It can help you figure out where your money's going and where you need to make cuts. Writing down every purchase you make is also a good way to hold yourself accountable. Plus, while you're aboard, you'll have to keep track of everything. It's simply a fantastic habit to develop. Travel with friends. There's no better way than all of your BFFs to share your vacation adventures with. Why not make it a reality? Your group chats are already filled with talk of fun and interesting ways to travel, so why not make it a reality? Because you can share the cost. This is one of the finest ways to save money while traveling. Groceries, lodging, entertainment, and car rentals all become significantly less expensive as the number of people increases. Get your pals together. Start preparing. Travel cheap countries. The most crucial guideline for low-cost travel is to pick a low-cost country. Traveling to a low-cost destination allows you to travel for longer periods of time, stay in superior accommodations, and eat fine food for a fraction of the price of a more expensive country. When planning a long journey, pick a cheap region with a few different cheap countries to visit. This way, you'll be able to visit a variety of sites while staying within your budget. Southeast Asia and Central America are two of the most popular long-term travel destinations. While South America and parts of Europe can be inexpensive, there are also locations that can be costly, so be cautious if that's where you're going. From discussing about a range of different tools and tips for traveling smart and cheap, it's clear there are definitely a lot of useful strategies for how you're able to afford to travel for cheap. Although it's now time to get into a couple of really great and useful tips, like how downsizing your wardrobe and home life can help you save money, and searching for low-cost destinations. Also, why traveling during off-peak times is useful to save money, stay tuned to find out why these tips are so handy for affording a holiday. Downsizing your wardrobe. Get rid of everything you don't use or require. Hold a garage sale, sell items online, or join a Facebook buy and sell group. Get rid of as much as possible. To begin with, the money you'll earn from selling your belongings might be used to fund your travel savings account. Keep in mind that while $20 may not seem like much at home, it could be your whole daily budget in a strange place, so every penny counts. Downsizing also aids in the preparation of long-term travel. You won't be able to bring everything with you, and you may need to rent storage for your belongings at home if you don't have enough space. Less stuff means less hassle while you're getting ready to depart, so get rid of it now. Finally, getting acclimated to having less possessions is beneficial. If you're going on a long journey, you'll most likely be living out of a bag or suitcase, so get used to having fewer possessions now. Search for budget travel destinations. On a budget does not have to imply not worth seeing. Many nations with lower living costs can be excellent places to visit. Get off the beaten path, save money. Colombia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Portugal, Sri Lanka, and many other beautiful nations are safe, distinctive, and economical places to visit. Even if you're traveling alone, food, transportation, and lodging are generally inexpensive, so you can save money by vacationing here and spending it on more expensive destinations later. Travel during off-peak times While traveling to Europe during the summer may sound like a dream, if you're talking about affordable methods to tour the world, you could be better off visiting during off-peak times. Depending on where you're heading, this usually means winter or fall, but hey, strolling through Prague's snow-covered streets wouldn't be half terrible either. Do your research. One of the simplest methods to travel cheaply is to visit your budget vacation destination during less busy seasons. There you have it, a range of different and great trips and tricks for being able to afford travel and holiday. With COVID-19 calming and travel beginning again, it's important to take these tips on board to help you prepare for affordable travel. Leave us a comment below about which tip you think is the most beneficial and one you will use in the future. We hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching.